Hello, Taurus. So this will be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Do not force a message to fit. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, make sure that you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Um, I will be doing personal readings. The link is in my email you will have to email me for a personal reading uh, my email is in the description box it's leola Sim leola simpo is um i'm sorry um at gmail.com see with that being said let's go ahead and get some messages okay healing healing old wounds and childhood issues need reason revisiting old wounds childhood issues need revisiting second chance okay let's see where this is going but second chance so there obviously was some healing taking place regarding a particular uh relationship this relationship desires a second chance let's see if it does let's see if it does Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Get it together. <clears throat> what messages do you have? Spirit, love and light, truth and clarity. Okay. <sighs> so, Ace of Wands. Okay. So, it's some disagreements. Um, and some disagreements and with ace of wands in reverse so there's a lack of passion here towards a new beginning so are people fighting over you so someone has a lack of hope And this King of Cups here. So it looks like this current situation, there's a lack of action. Um, there's been disagreements, some conflict. I'm getting that it's like You don't have hope that this person will fight for your affection. Will fight for this relationship. You lost faith in this. You you've lost faith fake fake. You lost faith in this person. And so it seems like initially you had a lot of chemistry with this person and then as time went on or it's like things may have started off well but then there was a drastic change in this relationship and turned out like this person had commitment issues they left this relationship without giving you any clarity and now this person is at this point where it's like they want reconciliation because they have regrets for the way that they were like over judgmental of you in the past or over critical of this relationship in the past so they're hoping to come back and reconcile with you um, because they're looking at this as a missed opportunity. They see you as a soulmate and they want to offer a new beginning in love. So that's what's currently going on. Why is all of this happening? Why is all of this happening?
Knight of Pentacles because they took they they took their precious ass time and then they were in and out. They took their precious ass time. Um, they were lazy with investing in this. Uh, they gambled on this relationship. And you know how they gambled on this relationship? Because they said that, you know, I can chase after my dreams. I can chase after my ambitions. And um, Taurus is still going to be there for me. Taurus will still be there for me. Um, at the end of the day, I can take my precious ass time. And once I'm done achieving all that I set out to achieve, they'll still be there for me. Taurus will still be there for me. But you lost attraction towards this person. It's like they end up turning you off by the way that they were acting. And it's like now that they're at the top of the mountain, they have everything that they desire except for love, but especially you. So now the challenge that is being faced is, should I take this leap of faith towards this new beginning? Because... It's like you don't really trust this person fully. And you're looking at this situation, it's like as it was a weight lifted off of your shoulder once you release this person. So it's like, do I really want to jump back in this? Yeah, it looks so here in the recent past, you have the two of wands in reverse. So they did not, they had an option. They had options and they chose not to take action towards this. I mean, they were, it's like, they chose the safest bet. Part of the reason why it's like now they can't get you out of their head. So it's like they want communication. I'm getting that this person is being like divinely guided back towards you. It's like... They see you as the person. That's the thing. It's like they feel stuck without you. And you're the person. It's like other options. They may have other options. But there's this sense of like you're the option that they see expansion and growth with. You're the one that they see themselves conquering the world with. And it's like, they see it clearly. They know exactly what they need to do. And it, it's like, they feel like this is like this commitment or this relationship between the two of you has been like divinely orchestrated. But they realize that they mess things up by not expressing their emotions towards you. Because I see like you either will be doing well or you are doing well. And I also see someone else coming in towards you. I see this person traveling towards you and then you also have someone new. But it's like right now you're focused on your independence and setting yourself up to be stable all on your own. And you're attracting a lot of potential suitors because it's like you have this elegance 
um, about you and it's the fact that you don't need you're not desperate for no one and you're not searching for anyone you're not looking for a commitment and so it's like now you're like attracting all of these potential su uh, suitors and it's like you have several opportunities coming your way but it's like you want to make sure that you you i'm saying it's like you will know exactly who is the best suit for you and it's because it's like you learn from the past you learn from the past because it's like you i'm getting that you were so focused on like this past person that you feel like you missed a lot of opportunities and now that you're opening yourself up to more opportunities like you're moving in the right direction some of you guys are relocating period but i'm getting like you're moving in the right direction by opening yourself up to more opportunities and it's also attracting this person back towards you um yeah because after a period of not putting yourself on the market closing yourself off it's like now you're ready to get back out there it's like you're no longer worried about this person and so now you're attracting everything that you desire and it's like let the best man win let the best woman let the best woman win it's like whoever brings an offer and gives me what i desire that's what i'm going for but i'm not waiting around for this person anymore and it's attracting this person even faster because they can feel you moving on Let's get over to them. Let's see what this person has going on. I don't know if I did this. I think I did. Let's see how your person feels, what they currently are thinking. this person how are they feeling towards Taurus what's this person thinking how are they feeling towards Taurus king of pentacles you got double king of pentacles king of pentacles here so it's like this person definitely it's like they're ready to offer you and i'm getting that this person they're a lone wolf it's like they have a tendency to just be on their own um, and to focus on work, but it's like, they're ready to offer you, they're ready to manifest this. It's like, they know what they want now. If they were playing games in the past, it's like they learned their lesson. They know what they want at this point. It's like they want the real deal with you. Yeah, they're focused on you. They know they don't want to miss this opportunity anymore. They don't want to stay stuck. They're done like just sitting and thinking about this. It's like they're focused on it's like they're just drawn to you. It's like they're sitting here, it's like they're looking at you, they're like ready to make this offer to you. And it's like you're not even focused on this person because you're it's like you are realizing like your potential and all the things that you can manifest in your life on your own because you have this pre empress energy and then the nine or the um the nine of pentacles the queen of wands energy so you're attracting abundance you're attracting i mean suitors you're attracting whatever you desire in life so you're now realizing like your full potential and you're having fun with it 
And this person is like, they're like, wow, look at all Taurus has going on. You know, yeah, this is like, you guys have really done some healing um, while you were in separation from this person. You guys released a lot of toxicity that was holding you back from manifesting all that you desire and all that you are capable of in this lifetime. The love, the the career, the business, whatever it, whatever it is. You guys did the shadow work and now that you have released that toxic um, energy, you are now able to manifest these desires into reality. You realize you are more than capable of manifesting. You hold the power. And that's what this Queen of Wands is uh, saying. You hold the power. And not only that, it's like you guys are also protected because the candles also represents your ancestors, the loved ones that have passed away. And it's, it's showing that it's like you're surrounded by them, that they are protecting you along this journey. All right, let's see what you have going on, Taurus. This person's, they're offering you, um, this is solid. They're ready to offer you a solid commitment. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You guys are very generous. So it's like, now you guys are, and then the Queen of Wands again coming out for you. And then the Two of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. Right now, I'm getting that you guys are, it's like, you're receiving blessing after blessing after blessing after blessing after blessing after blessing. The universe is just like overwhelming you with blessings at this time. Um, if not, then you will soon. Um, you're definitely attracting all of this into your life. It's like you're chasing after what you are passionate about and you're going for what makes you happy. And you know that you're protected. This person is very much focused on you. It's definitely showing this is your energy, the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys may have like strong Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries in your sign. Some of you guys may be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo uh, watching this and you have Taurus placements in your sign. Take it as it resonates. But you guys have learned how to manage things properly in your life. Some of you guys right now or you're getting to a place where it's like, you have you're you're gonna get to a place in your life very shortly towards where things are going so well that your business and your money is looking so good you guys have attracted all that you wanted um in your life you chased after your inspirations you guys are still inspiring people i mean beauty beautiful beautiful I mean, people are wondering, how did you achieve this amount of success? How did you achieve this? How did you do that? How are you doing this? How are you juggling all of this? And you're managing it all so well and still remaining so attractive. It's hard for you at this point to even find time to date and make room for love. So that's the challenge that you guys will be facing. So... That's what will be coming up because you'll have a lot going on. And it's like love will not be a priority to you. It won't. It won't, Taurus. Right now when it's like you don't have that much to do and you have time to sit around. And so love is a priority. It's like you're lonely. You want someone, you know, to be there for you. But when you get to this point where you're conquering your goals and you got a lot to juggle, you got a lot on your plate, your finances are booming. I mean, you're being blessed after blessed after blessed. People are like coming to you because you're very gifted. 
and they're coming to you for your experience, for your wisdom. Um, they want like you to be generous with your blessings. You guys are parent like you guys are feeling generous because you guys are blessed. So you're able to bless others. You realize, I mean, it's a give and take world. When you're blessed, you bless others. And that's how the cycle keeps on going. But I'm saying that you guys definitely will be having to make, like, manage, find time to manage, um, to squeeze love into your schedule because it definitely won't be a priority of yours. There's a lot of maturity that has, like, that you guys have achieved um, through all of the pain, the sorrow that you have been through in past relationships in your life in general. And you allowed yourself to grow from this. But there's, like, this clear new beginning that's coming through uh, for you guys where it's like you're going to see exactly what you need to do in order to set forward on this path that is leading you to all of these blessings. You'll know exactly what you need to do. You'll see like clearly um, there will be no more mental fog. You'll be thinking sharp. Um, you'll know because you'll be very much in so you'll be very much in tune. Uh, you'll be communicating precisely, very clear, sharp. People will be coming to you for your skills. Because they're looking at you like you're very gifted. Like, don't be a know-it-all. Make sure it's like, continue to take the time to educate yourself. Accept the wisdom that is being provided to you by people who are wise and know what they're talking about. Um... Because I'm seeing that there is like more studying, um, something that is requiring your full attention, something that is requiring you to put forth more effort. This is something that you are just now investing in. You're still new to this, um, but in the long run, it's going to pay off for you. There's another energy popping up for you, the King of Wands. Someone who has a lot of emotions for you, but they, I mean, this person is like, even though this person has a lot of emotions towards you, this person's like, they don't know how to invest properly into a relationship. They don't know how to give you the love that you need. This is someone that is like, they're not warm, they're not welcoming, they're not inviting. It's kind of like, so this has, has to be an ex. Because um, you don't see this person. You Someone else has captured your love. Someone else will be capturing your love and attention. Yeah, because you see this person like, this is a past person. But I am saying like you see this as someone who's immature, but it's dead and over with. Because there's someone new coming in. And this person is going to be upset and disappointed when they see that you have chose another option. And it all starts with you opening yourself up like releasing like judgments on potential suitors, allowing yourself to be open to um, other people coming in. You guys have, I, I named the 10 of cups twice. So you guys have two X's. Some of you guys have two exes. They'll be coming back. One that is like fairly new. You just like casually dated this person, but nothing really. You guys weren't really in a relationship. And another person you was actually in a relationship with. Nine of swords. 
So this person is like, they're saying it's like, you know, they don't want their worst nightmares to become a reality. So what do they plan on doing? But Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So they realize they have to grow up because they know that they weren't like... See, their thing is, is that... So this person is afraid of their worst nightmares becoming a reality. They don't want them to become their reality, but they're afraid because they don't see that you will be investing in this relationship because you guys have not been, like you have not reached out to this person. Um, and this very much so talks about like a past person coming back and reconciling and more than likely it's because you are withholding your energy from this person. You are not opening up to this person. So by you continuing to reframe your energy from this person is drawing this person back to you. And then there's like someone else. And I said the pre-empress energy and here goes the Empress. So I'll put these back. Let's see what this one is. So the sun in reverse. So situation that you were not happy about because you felt like you put so much effort towards this relationship, yet you did not get the outcome that you wanted out of this. So you focused on yourself. You was you drew the energy back towards yourself. A lot of you guys will be spending a lot of time with your friends, your family, celebrating. Um, a lot of you guys will be celebrating like whatever business venture that you guys are investing in will be going very well. Um, you will be very successful, but there's this, it's like, I'm really getting it. It's like, there's this toxic energy this toxic person that keeps on popping up but it's like it's like they're they're like i come in peace but you see right through this person but it's like it's three different energies you guys will have several options this is Cause this is someone that you released. There was a lot of betrayal in this situation. Oh, why is this? Let me get, why is this coming up? Like, what is this? What is this devil energy about? The Knight of Cups in reverse. So an emotional manipulator. Someone is like, you're no longer stuck on this situation anymore. Yeah, this is some some of you guys, this could be a Leo. It's, it's definitely someone in the past that you're not stuck on anymore. It's a lesson learned. Um but it's like you've moved on from this person. But it's like this person's like, they're still stuck on you. It's like they see you as someone who is just fearless, courageous. Um, it's like you have this like beauty about you that just captivates this person. I mean, you captivate a lot of people. You have the Empress, you have the Queen of Wands here. So, I mean, you're and the strength 
So it's like you're exerting a lot of beauty because the strength is someone. The strength is someone who's able to tame a bad, a bad guy, a bad girl. So that means you got it going on. You make someone who's you make a player want to uh, tame, you know, their bad ways. And that's exactly what you did with this person. Oh. Oh, it makes sense now. Okay. It makes sense now. You know, because I'm sorry, um, Taurus. I was getting a little frustrated because it. I was hoping that it wasn't <laughs> like this energy trying to pop up again. And this reading, that makes sense. You make a player want to tame their bad ways. And that's what you did to this person because boom, here goes the King of Pentacles again. Yes, that <laughs> you made them tame their bad ways. Oh, it it hits now. And they and it all happened because you withdrew your energy from this person and you gave it all to yourself. You focus on yourself. You focus on your come up, your glow up. And now this person is like, I got to have them back. I got to have them back. You. Oh, it, I, that was a struggle right there. I'm like, wait. And that opportunity that you guys were waiting for. Now this person is coming, but it's like you have several options. That's why I said it's a couple of energies here. Um, but your person, the King of Pentacles, this is the same person. They're showing up strong. And there's been a lot of healing. I'm getting like once you guys reconcile, uh, let's see, because... I'm I'm definitely saying it's like definitely a lot of healing because it's like no longer like focusing on the negative. It's like deciding to like be present, be in the present moment, not focusing on what coulda, shoulda, woulda, but actually focusing on the here and now and then moving forward. So yeah, because I am seeing that you guys deciding to take a stand for this relationship. I am seeing that you guys will be fighting for this relationship. Because I don't see you like, a, it's like you are, um, you won't, I, I don't see you accepting any other offers. At least not right now. I'm seeing you will at least give this person the opportunity to have their second chance. At least communicate with you. Okay, that, that was good. I almost missed that. Wait, wait, you just said it. So there's something that you will be hearing about this person or it's like, What is this gossip about? Oh, no. They're going to be hearing about you. And that's when they're going to come chasing. Because the young male, yeah, that's when they're going to come chasing after you intensely. They're going to be focused on you. Because young male sporty car youthful, that's just like chaser energy. That's fast energy. Like I gotta, you know, that's it's almost like the um to me the knight of um swords energy, like a major change coming through. This is like I gotta I gotta take action. Like I gotta take action. They will be hearing about this glow up that occurs in your life. 
some of you guys like will be getting on point. I mean, on point. And they are gonna be like, wait, what? No, I gotta have them back like tripping. So, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you, Taurus. If the reading resonates, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I'll send it right back to you guys. With that being said, uh, remember, um, personal readings, that is in the description box. And that's it. That is it.